what's going on guys on this episode of knuckle busters garage oh, we got a lot going on so first things first the other day i was driving around my exhaust started getting louder on that winter beater that blue pile a hunk of crap that you just saw a couple seconds ago the exhaust decided to break loose right so it got loud it sounded like a tractor well i go into autozone today you know to buy a sleeve for it and one of the guys that works there i call him hulk hogan because he looks like hulk hogan he, know, he tells me that there's a, a piece of exhaust in the uh, in the office there. So I go in there and pick it up. I'm like, huh, looks familiar. Go outside, and I'm missing about a foot and a half of my exhaust. So I had to buy some pieces, make it work. Uh, so basically today I'm going to end up welding up my exhaust. we got to clean the shop out a little bit because we we're doing woodwork for the basement. And we got this guy's oil change because he was denied by one of the oil change places because his car is too low. Mm -hmm. That sucks, but it doesn't. So, yeah, we did the little bundle deal at AutoZone. We got the filter and the uh, gallon jug of oil. It was like 18 bucks off the total or something like that. Otherwise, it's going to be around 50, 60 bucks. Grab some sodas and let's make it happen. All right, I got the exhaust oil lit up. Nobody gives a shit about it, so, like, I'm not posting anything about it. But uh, next, we're going to do this guy's oil change because they told him at the quick loop that he was too low. Cross member was on the box. We were assuming, he was assuming, as well as I, that it was gonna be the exhaust because the exhaust hangs a little bit lower, but it was cross member. He didn't even get that far. There, he's like, he's all like, I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> That'll happen. But all right, thankfully, I have no idea where the filter is, but I found it right there by the front uh, main crank pulley there, the harmonic balance or whatever. So that's gonna be really easy to get to. So we'll drain it and we'll take care of it. Go for it. So what are we doing right now? We're taking out the drain plug. Oh, changing the oil? Yep. Yeah. Jesus Christ, this bitch is hard to get to. Yep, I don't know why they did it. It's at the, it's at the rear. Fomoco, not very smart. <laughs> the pump is near the back of the motor, and uh, the, the uh, deeper part of the pan is towards the back, so it's behind the cross member, and the bolt's on the passenger side. That's the joys of it. Uh, give me some light. Yeah, Where is that? Be light. But yeah, once we'll crack that loose, we'll look at... Uh, there it is. We'll cut our oils in there. Or uh, what uh, consistency the oil now is. I'm assuming it's like a gelatin. <laughs> oh, dude, if it's jello, we're taking this to a shop. Right to a shop. Or I'll use my millions. Oh, yes. It's gorgeous. There we uh, go. While he's doing that, I'll go take care of some of the other stuff at the front and the top of the motor. All right, new oil filter on. Good to go. Drain plug was a little tight. Hold yeah, on. we got a nice fancy silver one. Yeah. yeah. Yes. I like it. This little thing. Let me come over here. There was this old, uh, you know, it's kind old, of old filter. Ah, you'd see the metal shavings either way if there was enough. Zoop. <laughs> Zoop. Nice. All right, so yeah, we're gonna basically put the car back on the ground and get it kind of level. We gotta leave some 2 by 4s under it as it is just because it's mad low. And then uh, pretty much, you just gotta fill it up with oil and send him on his merry way!
the drop. 